As you can see, it's time for a new roof. The problem is, I have these solar panels. 18 solar panels. And the roofer needs them removed before he can do his thing. The first thing to do is shut off the panels, disconnect them with the switch. There you go. So it's basically pretty simple. There's only two bolts per panel and one connection on average per panel. So the hard part is the connectors. I tried a bunch of different tools. This is a fuel line puller tool. And we're just doing squeezing the whole thing, putting a lot of force on it. This is by far the hardest part. It's super easy to unbolt. It's all about the connectors. We're gonna try this tool one last time. And for the first time, Voila! It worked. Let's get a close up of those. The business end. This is what we're dealing with. We're trying to squeeze those together and pull them out. And they don't make it very easy to do. I found it impossible to get some of the connectors apart with the tools I had, so we ended up using my mini saw to saw off the tabs. So we just sawed them off from one side, flipped it over, sawed off the other ones, and with no tabs there, were able to twist them apart. Probably could have been avoided if the people who did the installation used dielectric grease. These are the sawn off tabs. Close up, you can see what we did. And it worked. It was the most fail safe way of removing the connectors was to saw off the tabs. One thing we did to make it safer was we didn't attempt to climb down a ladder with the panel. We handed it to a third person down below. All right, we're almost done, and we're getting better. Right, Jeff? That's right. Can we get this one off first try? No, second try. But we're gonna get it off without cutting, and without, without harm to our... Look at that. Success. Wow. 15 seconds. A little practice. Nothing like practice. Comes up, we split off this way, and then we split this one up to the upper panel. Okay. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> so in summary, we removed all 18 panels in only an hour and a half. And this is despite having major problems with the connectors. I tried eight different tools on the connectors. I had one that worked fairly well. So I'll give a link to that tool in the description below.